Well, another hurricane season is fast approaching, and it comes as so many are still reeling from last year. This is what East Tennessee looked like as Hurricane Helene caused intense flash flooding to sweep through the mountains. Hurricane experts are now predicting another active Atlantic hurricane season this year. News 2 meteorologist Alex Libby is in the studio to walk us through their predictions and show us the potential impact for Middle Tennessee. Alex. It seems like every year we have above, above average active hurricane seasons in the forecast, and that's no different this year. The NOAA forecasting another above average year. So average is 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes. And the forecast is for 13 to 19 named storms or total storms, six to 10 hurricanes and three to five major hurricanes. Remember, major hurricanes are those category three, four and five storms, which we had, I think, five of them last year. But here is the last 10 years of tropical activity. I want to bring this up because Look how many years above average. We average 14 named storms each year. With exception of 2015, it's either been at or above average. With 2020, the most active year on record, 30 named storms. We ran out of names and had to start going to the Greek alphabet that year. Well, here is the hurricane outlook and why. So the NOAA is saying that we're going to see an above average year because we have a neutral El Nino Southern Oscillation. Remember, that's the El Nino and La Nina in the Southern Pacific Ocean. It impacts our hurricane season as well as our winter weather. Low wind shear expected this summer as well. You know, wind shear is good for tornadoes, but actually hurts hurricane formation. And then warmer than normal sea surface temperatures. All the yellow and orange shaded areas, that's where the water is warmer than it should be. So yeah, we are up for another hurricane season. That means we could see some impacts here in Middle Tennessee. Haley?